Hello, and welcome to this video on the factorial and the Stirling approximation. So let's begin by thinking about factorials. In our next unit on thermodynamics and statistical physics, a lot of our time will be concerned with the study of entropy. What it is, how can we quantify it? Over the course of this study, we will encounter a mathematical operation which is known as the factorial. The factorial comes up when you are looking at probabilities quite frequently. For example, when answering the question, if I flip a penny, a nickel, a dime, and a quarter, how many possible permutations of two heads are there? This is a question in which to solve it, you will use the idea of the factorial. The factorial operation is indicated by the exclamation point. In other words, the three factorial is written as three followed by an exclamation point. How do we calculate factorials? Well, five factorial just means to take five, multiply it by four, multiply that by three, multiply that by two, and finally multiply by one, giving us an answer of 120. Meanwhile, 500 factorial means 500 times 499 times 498 times 497, and so on and so on and so on and so on until eventually times five times four times three times two times one. Now my calculator has a factorial button. When I try to put in 500 factorial, it essentially bursts into flame. But you can see the idea of the calculation here. You take the number, subtract one, and multiply. And you repeat this process until you get down to one. Because of this operation, the answer to factorials can get very, very big, very, very fast. Before we come to a method on how to deal with such large numbers, there's one last point to bring up. Zero factorial is equal to one. This is a convention, and I'm not even sure I can explain to you why, but you need to know that zero factorial is equal to one. So factorials give us very large numbers. So when we take the factorial of a large number, we get a ginormous number, and we need to think of ways to do this without setting our calculators on fire. In particular, in our study of thermodynamics and statistical physics, we'll be looking at molecules. Molecules come in moles, which is 10 to the 23. So we will be looking at 10 to the 23 factorial. Again, if you try to do this with the calculator's factorial button, you probably will get an error. And so we need a way to handle this. Fortunately, in our study, we'll actually only be interested in taking the natural logarithms of factorials. So if we're interested in the number n factorial, what we'll really be interested in is the natural log of n factorial. This will save us quite a bit. Because if we're interested in the natural log of the factorial of a number, then we can use what is known as the Stirling approximation. The Stirling approximation tells us that the ln of some number factorial is equal to 1 half times the ln of 2 pi plus whatever number I'm interested in, add a half to it, multiply it by the natural logarithm of n, and subtract n off. This formula is on your equation sheet, so you don't have to memorize it. You just have to be able to use it. We're going to try it through a few numbers to see how well it does. So here is the calculation for two different values of n, 10 and 20. Here is 10 factorial. You can see, even at 10, 10 factorial is getting very large. The natural log of rhythm of 10 factorial is about 15.1. If I use the Stirling approximation on the previous page here, I get essentially 15.1. The difference is very, very tiny. This is a percent difference. So the difference between the natural logarithm of 10 factorial and the Stirling approximation is 0.05%. Similarly, if I repeat the calculation with 20, 20 factorial, you're already into 10 to the 18, which gives us a natural logarithm of 42.3. And now the difference between the natural logarithm of 20 factorial and the result of the Stirling approximation is even smaller, less than 1 one hundredth of 1%. So this Stirling approximation is quite accurate. 
you get a chance to practice a few problems in your homework before the wrap. This concludes this video.